Hi everyone, welcome in my video. For today I'm going to talk a little bit more about pigmentology and I'm going to show you how you can read the label on a pigments to make sure that you know what kind of pigments you are using. I would like to start with the differences between organic and unorganic pigments. As you already know, when you mix these two pigments together, you have hybrid pigments. But let me tell you the difference. First difference, weight of molecules. Organic pigments are lightweight in molecular size, comparing to unorganic pigments, which are more heavier. Now let's talk about second specification in order to understand how to work with organic pigments or unorganic pigments. We know that unorganic pigments can be called also as mineral pigments. I really like to work with both of these pigments, also with hybrid pigments. But you really need to understand how to work with them properly. When you are working with organic pigments, you really have to make sure that you are not putting too much pressure while you are working on the skin. Also, it depends on the thickness of the skin, but in general, you really have to make sure that you are not putting so much pressure and your strokes are a little bit far away from each other. Otherwise, the heal the result can be very saturated. When you are working with anorganic pigments or mineral pigments, you want to make sure that you put your strokes very, very close to each other. I put my strokes close to each other, I put a lot of color into the skin and I layer the color much more, comparing my work to organic pigments. When I work with organic pigments, normally I do around two to three passes. And when I work with mineral pigments, I do three to four passes. It really depends on my client, what my client wants, and also what I think it will look best on them. Now, let me tell you the last very big difference between organic and unorganic pigments. Organic pigments are more bright and opaque in colors comparing to unorganic pigments, which are more earthy and translucent. These powders can be destroyed, for example, by UVA light or by our enzymes ferments. One more thing I would like to tell you about is concentration of pigments. Here you can see hybrid pigments with more organic ingredients and this specific pigment is more concentrated. I'm going to tell you more about the unorganic pigments, which you can see here on this part of the video. This pigment is less concentrated. And now you are asking, how you can find out what kind of concentration has your pigments? I can show you now. For this experiment, you will need paper, few wet cotton pads and pigments, which you have at home. Put one or two drops on a wet cotton pad and stretch it on a paper. And this is how you can see the difference. I told you something about differences between organic and unorganic pigments and how you can find out about concentration of these pigments. And now I would like to tell you something more about how to read the labels on the pigments. Take your pigments, look at the label and find ingredients. Here you can find out more about ingredients. When you look at the label, you can see CI numbers. CI means color index. When your CI number starts with 77, that means that the ingredient is purely an organic ingredient. If your pigment has only CI numbers with 77, that means that your pigment is only mineral pigment, purely mineral, without any organic components in it. I hope that you learned something new today. Thank you guys for watching. If you still didn't subscribe, please do. A lot more videos coming and I hope you will like it. Bye!